Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to model loads in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we are going to be showing you how to edit loads directly in the spreadsheet after those loads have already been created. Now the way the loading spreadsheet works is this spreadsheet or these spreadsheets will display the loads according to the currently selected load case. To select a different load case, we can go to the loading tab and the ribbon toolbar and select the load case we're interested in. For this exercise, we will select the live load case and then anything I see in the spreadsheet area will be the live loads. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the loading spreadsheets. I'm gonna select the spreadsheet tab and the ribbon toolbar and I'm gonna start with the nodal loads. Here I can see all of the loads that are currently assigned to the live load category as nodal loads. If I wanted to recreate these loads, I can go ahead and use the same modeling tools I had performed in a previous exercise. Now, as you can see, I have several different point loads that have already been assigned to some nodes in the model. And I've decided at this point in my workflow that I want to change the magnitude of loads. I don't want to change anything else, just the magnitude of load. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my first field for the FY category, and I'm going to change its value. I'm going from negative 5 kips to negative 8 kips. I'm going to enter negative 8 and hit enter on my keyboard to go ahead and accept that change. Then I'm going to move my keyboard back into that field. Now what I want to do is I want to copy this value down to the rest of the currently selected node loads. To do that, I can go to the data tab and the ribbon toolbar, and you can see several different types of spreadsheet tools. And these tools will help you to go ahead and modify information in the spreadsheets. I'm gonna go ahead and use this option here, which is to fill current column with value at cursor location. So here you can see that my cursor was located on this first nodal load, and so it copied this value down to the rest of the currently selected nodal loads. Let's go ahead and access the distributed load spreadsheet now. I'm gonna to go to the spreadsheet tab in my ribbon toolbar, go to the members area, and click on the distributed loads icon. Here I can see the load magnitudes, and direction for which the loads are applied. Now for this particular example, I'm gonna change the magnitude to negative 0.03 kips per foot for both magnitude one and magnitude two. So I'm gonna enter this the same way I had previously, hit enter, and then copy this value down. Let's repeat that process for magnitude number two and fill the column. Now we do have two different fields here. Fill column basically means that we're going to fill that value down for the entire column in the spreadsheet. If I only selected a couple of nodal loads, if I only selected a couple of items and then hit the fill selection, it'll copy that value down to anything that's currently selected, which would be anything highlighted in blue over here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.